What's up guys, what's going on? So today is another adventure day here in Oregon. We just came about 30 minutes down Lolo Pass to this trailhead, which is the Bald Mountain Trailhead. Trying this new lens out, trying this new kind of fisheye feature going on right now. I am not shooting on a GoPro. This is a GH5 with a Rokinon fisheye lens, eight millimeter. All right, the first thing to note, there is a shit ton of flies. I don't know why, maybe there was like an abundance of dead animals at the trailhead, but there is a ton of flies and they bite. Already this trail is starting to look really good. I love these tall trees. This is also part of the PCT trail. On the third mile, I think it changes into Bald Mountain number 600. I would not advise stopping because uh, right now there's like probably 20 flies on me. Also, there's mosquitoes that are just trying to gnaw on me at the moment. Oh, for me. <laughs> Jeez. God. Yeah, don't stop moving. Nina's shooting up here. It's a good sign. Oh, no way. That is awesome. I'm stoked. I'm stoked to see what else this hike has. I mean, uh, are we going the right way? <laughs> it looks, oh, there we go. Sweet. Trail did close up just a second ago, which was kind of weird. It kind of felt like I was lost, but it uh, opened back up. We haven't ran into any more views, but it's definitely been a nice little stroll. Hey, babe. Thanks for waiting for me. Of course. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. All right, there you guys go. You're gonna get off the Pacific uh, Trail and you're gonna get on this one, Timberline number 600. What's up? Okay, so that is the actual summit. Yeah. But my theory is that the tree line might not go away. All trails and maps me have a viewpoint this way, and then we're gonna just loop around the entire mountain rather than summiting the mountain. Yeah. Let's let's try that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The summit is not above the timberline, so it'll probably be covered. It's not like the alpine summits we've been doing. There's the opening. This is it. The big of view. Yeah, so this is definitely the view. There's really cool wildflowers. You got killer views of Mount Hood and uh, kind of the, you're on this like exposed rock cliff uh, with just a bunch of uh, wildflowers and butterflies and it just gives you this awesome view. Looks like it was um, a rock slip, just like a big rock slip cleared off all the trees and just made a really good hiking trail for us to come check out Mount Hood. I think we're running out of time today, so we're not gonna summit, so too bad I can't tell you guys whether the top was exposed or not, and if there is any good views. Oh my God, it's just too cool. But yeah, if you guys know, um, it's a good question whether that uh, bald mountain summit is has another really cool view. So if you guys have done it, go ahead and leave it in the comments. And I'll also, when I, when I post this video, I'll um, try to find out from somebody else who has done this hike, just to let you guys know if that summit hike is worth it. I mean, it, it does look like a 10 minute hike. So if you're already up here and you have time, you know, I would say just go for it. All right, guys, we're running out of time a little bit. So we have to double back um, down the trail. Good thing it's all downhill. We have a check-in over at something I've never done before. Nina uh, booked us for a, what is it? A yurt. A yurt, a freaking yurt. And isn't it like in like a little like community? Yeah, there's some facilities there. It's, right. It's like, a, it's like glamping. All right, but instead of trudging you guys down this mountain, I'm gonna send you guys straight to the yurt, all right? So we're gonna get there in three, two, one. Yo, guys, what's going on? Come on in. This is the yurt. There's like plastic windows over here. There's one real window over here, which is pretty cool. I got a little lamp. Yeah, there's a little bed. There's a little 
another bed for, you know, to put things on. We got a little skylight with a spider. This is it. That was the tour, actually. There's the tour. Show the outside. I was, I was, oh yeah, show the outside. I'll show the outside. Show I'll show you outside. Like, look at it. Ta-da! Yurt life. I'll give you a big, I'll give you an even bigger shot. Look at that. Boom, we're in the bush. We're out in the bush. We got a little trail. Oh yeah, this is on Airbnb. I'll do the description in the link um, so you guys can check it out. It's right outside of Portland. But we have access to like tons of trails, not necessarily from here. Yes, you do. Yeah. But like driving distance wise, there's like yeah. a whole bunch of trails. Tomorrow we're doing Tom, Dick and Harry. Today we did Barn Mountain. No, no, no. The Tom, Dick and Harry trail. Yesterday we did Tom and Alice Falls. Right there is like three different options, three different ideas. And we'll do more. We're actually gonna do, when we come back next time, we're doing the Timberline Trail, right? Yes. Which is sick. Three day, I think like 40 miles. Like it, it looks Around pretty, Hood. yeah, it looks pretty epic. Anyway, so thanks guys for watching. Thank you for joining the adventure. I hope you guys like either get some ideas, get to visually travel to these places that are absolutely amazing, legendary places. Yeah, love you guys. Uh, take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.